Yo, what up everyone? Hey, so this is part five of what if Ahsoka trained Ben Solo. This story's really gotten away from me. Um, I planned on doing this in three or four parts and I'm on part five and I think I've got two more parts to go. So uh, hopefully you're enjoying this. Um, let me know in the comments below what has been your favorite part and what do you hope to see for the end of this story? Anyways, with that, let's jump in. This was the first time that Anakin had come to visit Ahsoka. The last time Ahsoka saw Anakin, he was running off to save the Chancellor. Ahsoka would have heard of his redemption from Luke, and even though she was hurt by his actions as Vader, she was comforted to see her old master's face. He looked much like she remembered, but there was a layer of sadness that did not fit her memory of the Jedi Knight Anakin Skywalker. Seeing Anakin was complicated, but she needed someone's counsel, and Obi-Wan didn't show up. Apparently she was getting the counsel of Darth Vader then. Ahsoka told Anakin of her failure with Ben. She told him about Ben's anger, his pull to the dark side, and his tension with Luke. All of this was too familiar to Anakin. Speaking from experience, Anakin would tell Ahsoka that Ben needed those closest to him now more than ever. Ahsoka hung her head in guilt. Picking up on this, Anakin told her that he didn't blame her for his turn to the dark side, but Ahsoka couldn't help but feeling like if she had reached out to him or been more excited to see him, things may have been different. Trust your feelings, Ahsoka, and you will find him. And just like that, Anakin was gone. With a long sigh, Ahsoka reached out to the Force. She concentrated on Ben. Ahsoka would set out with a newfound trust in the Force. At this point, Ahsoka has become as in tune with the will of the Force as Qui-Gon Jinn was. If anyone was going to find Ben and guide him away from the dark side, it was her. Her trust in the Force, and even experience with Anakin Skywalker would be crucial to the task Luke failed at in the sequel trilogy. Though let me say, I don't think Return of the Jedi Luke would have actually failed with Ben. But, you know, he did in canon, so alright. Meanwhile, Ben's time with Ezra would be incredibly formative. He would gain insight into the Force that he would not have received from anybody else. He would even gain an understanding of the fringe parts of the galaxy due to Ezra's own experience in the unknown regions and more. But Ben was looking for power, and at this point, Ezra did not have it. Of course, he was powerful and had a lot to teach Ben, but he couldn't offer Ben control like he sought, control that the dark side was tempting him with. Eventually, Ben would depart from Ezra and continue his search for the elusive dark side figure he heard in his head. This time, though, Ben's goal wasn't to follow this potential master. His goal was to destroy him so that he did not have any power over him. Ezra made it clear that he would never have control while this dark master had a place in his thoughts. Malachor. That was the name the voice inside Ben's head kept saying. Ben had heard of this planet. It was an ancient planet, home to a Sith temple. In addition, Ezra had told him this was the place where he and his old master battled alongside Ahsoka against his grandfather, Darth Vader. After hearing that story and hearing the voice repeat Malachor, Ben decided he must find this planet. The voice inside his head was waiting for him there. Ezra was concerned that Ben was heading for Malachor, but he was unable to stop him. He knew that the only one who could do that was Ahsoka. Ezra was nervous to go back. It had been a long time since he had seen his friends. He had changed so much since being launched into the unknown regions. Ben wasn't the only one that benefited from their time together. Ezra was reminded that he had a role to play in the galaxy still, and Kanan would want him to help the new Jedi Order any way he could. 
so he set off to find Ahsoka. Ben landed on Malachor. The planet's unstable atmosphere made the landing tricky, but Ben was a good pilot. He had tracked down an old record from Ahsoka that marked the location of the Sith Temple. It made sense to start there. Immediately, though, it was clear that nothing of the temple had remained. Something powerful had reduced it to rubble. Ben still felt this was the place to be. Before Ben could realize what was happening, several hooded figures jumped from behind the rubble. They activated vibra swords and launched themselves at Ben. Ben ducked just in time to dodge one sword. Before jumping back, Ben used the force to push the attacker away. As the first attacker was falling, Ben stripped the sword from his hand. Sparks rained on the ground as Ben blocked a second attack. The hooded figures were clearly no match for Ben. And with a final slash, Ben dropped the fourth and final attacker. And suddenly, he heard the voice. At last, I was beginning to think you weren't hearing me. Ben turned around to see a beat up looking character. He was wearing a black cloak with a tall hood covering his face. I am Damask, 